from Kingdom Kids to get connected! Woo! Welcome back Kingdom Kids, it's great to see you! This week we're focusing on seeking God first. I'm ready, are you? Come join me! Let's go! Prayer is an important part of our everyday life. We are reminded that whatever we do, we should take it to the Lord in prayer. We should seek His face. So gather around and come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another opportunity to come together to hear from you. And pray for your Holy Spirit to come and dwell among us and help us to learn more about you. Thank you for your presence among us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you know what this is? It's a cookbook. I like cooking, making something to eat using the ingredients in a recipe. What better place to look than in a cookbook? You can, if you prefer, use a phone or a computer or a tablet. I find the book easier, especially when I'm in the kitchen and doing it. What other things are there where I might need a book or a manual? Mm, can you think of any? There's lots of them. There's lots of books that we need to use. Uh, oh yeah, I've got a car, okay? And I might want to know how to change the wheel if I get a puncture. This is my car jack. 
The manual showed me exactly where to find it in the car and how to use it. The manual will tell me everything I need to know about the car. Everything I need to know. It's in my manual. Here it is. Shows me and tells me everything I need to know about the car. Well, if my car is working, I need to know how to drive on the road. You guessed it, there's even a manual for that. Here it is, it's called the Highway Code. The Highway Code. I have a copy here. We have to obey the law on how to drive safely. We often think and say that about God's word, the Bible. Here it is, the Bible. This is the instruction manual for our lives. I wonder what, what it has to say to us today in our cable tie, which is from Psalm 32, verse eight. The cable tie puts it very simply. It says, let me find it, here we go. Da, 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 da. Here we are. Are you ready? Psalm 32, verse eight. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye. Mm. Do you see? God speaks to us, he leads us, he shows us the way, and he sees everything that we're doing and thinking and saying. Let's read that cable time once more. Psalm 32 verse eight. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye. Those are God's words. So everybody, read the Bible, know it, and use it. Amen. What time is it? Plugged in time. 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 Hey. Plugged in time. Hey. Plugged in time. Hey. Plugged in time. Hey. It plugged in time. Okay, 1982, are you ready for your first challenge? Yeah. Woo! And the first challenge is Kingdom Pull. And we want to see who can pull the other one to the other side first. You've got 15 seconds to do this and your time starts now. Woo, woo, woo! Here they go, Kingdom Kids. 1982 are having a Kingdom Pull challenge and they've got only 15 seconds to see who's the strongest. Remember, Kingdom Kids, it's all down to you. And they got four, three, two, one. Woo, woo, woo! Remember, Kingdom Kids, it's all down to you. You decide who the winner is. Where for me, Kingdom Kids? It's round Where? one. I'm Where's my nice Where for me, Kingdom Kids? Okay, Kingdom Kids, we're ready for another round of Kingdom Pull. Are you ready, 1982? Yes. Okay, and your time starts now. Woo, woo, woo. Remember, Kingdom Kids, they've only got 15 seconds to see who can pull the other one to the other side. Keep going, 1982. Come on, you've got seven seconds left. Keep pulling, 1982. Who's gonna be the strongest? And your time is up now. Woo, woo, woo. Who was the winner, Kingdom Kids? Was it 19? Was it 82? Who was the winner of Kingdom Pull? Vote for me, Kingdom Kids. Vote for 82. Vote for 19. Vote for me, Kingdom Kids. Vote for 82. 1 Samuel, chapter 23, verses 1 to 13. When David was told, Look, the Philistines are fighting against Kayla and are looting the threshing floors. He inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and attack these Philistines? The Lord said to him, Go, attack the Philistines and save Caleb. But David's men said to him, Here in Judah we are afraid. How much more, then, if we go to Caleb against the Philistine forces? Once again David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered him, Go down to Caleb, for I am going to give the Philistines into your hand. So David and his men went to Caleb fought the Philistines and carried off their livestock. He inflicted heavy losses on the Philistines and saved the people of Cana. Now Abiathar, son of Ahimelech, had brought the ephod down with him when he fled to David at Cana. 
Saul was told that David had gone to Kayla, and he said, God has handed him over to me, for David has imprisoned himself by entering a town with gates and bars. And Saul called up all his forces for battle, to go down to Kayla to besiege David and his men. When David learned that Saul was plotting against him, he said to Abiathar the priest, Bring the ephod. David said, O Lord, God of Israel, your servant has heard definitely that Saul plans to come to Kayla and destroy the town on account of me. Will the citizens of Kayla surrender me to him? Will Saul come down as your servant has heard? O Lord, God of Israel, tell your servant. And the Lord said, He will. Again, David asked, Will the citizens of Kayla surrender me and my men to Saul? And the Lord said, They will. So David and his men, about 600 in number, left Kayla and kept moving from place to place. When Saul was told that David had escaped from Kayla, he did not go there. Who do you seek when you need help? When you have a decision to make, who do you turn to? The decision could be big or it could be small. Do I take history or geography? Maybe you seek advice from your mum, your granddad, it could be your teacher or your pastor. In today's power, we heard that David sought God first for advice. David knew God and David was connected to God, talking with him every day. When David had a decision to make and wanted to know if he should do something or if he shouldn't do something, he asked God. David asked God, seeking him for the answer and God told him what he should do. No one knows more than God. God is all knowing and all seeing. God is the creator of everything and he wants to guide you through this life in all that you do. Do you seek advice and guidance from God? Do you? The Spirit of God was on David and David was able to hear from God. The same Spirit that was on David is the same Spirit that comes to live in us when we surrender our lives to Jesus. We are connected to God through Jesus and God wants to guide us. God wants you to talk with him about everything. He wants you to seek him first when making decisions for guidance and with your concerns. You were created to live a life with God, your creator. God is always with you and he wants you to seek him always, to call on him when you need him, which is always. So how do you seek God for advice and guidance? Well, God has given us all we need to seek him. He has given us his word, which is alive and active. As you read and meditate on God's word, he will guide you, showing you how to live a life that is righteous and good. Your Bible is your manual. You need to read it every day. God has also given us the gift of talking directly to him. You need to pray throughout the day, asking God for advice and guidance and listening to him. Listening to God can be difficult, but God speaks to you spirit to spirit. And as you enter into his presence and the more you be still before him, the more you will hear from him and the more you will know that it is God speaking. God wants the best for you and he wants to guide you in everything that you do, in every part of your day, in every part of your life. He wants you to come to him for guidance and direction, seeking him always. So seek God first. Heavenly Father, thank you for the love you have for us. And that you have a purpose for our lives. Thank you for protecting us from the seen and the unseen danger. 
We ask for your Holy Spirit to help us to learn to wait on you and to remain obedient to your call. Help us to seek your face to know what is your will for our lives. Thank you that your timing for us is perfect. We thank you that we can trust you to lead us in the right path. We give thanks and praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, 1982, second challenge is Kingdom Hoop. And we want to see how many hula hoops you can do in 30 seconds. Now, Kingdom Kids, you need to keep watching. You need to count. It's all down to you because you decide who the winner is. Are you ready, 1982? Yes. yes. Okay. Are you really ready, 1982? Yes. All right. And your 30 seconds start now. Okay, Kingdom Kids, they've got 30 seconds and count how many hulas they can hoop in 30 seconds. Is, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Keep counting, Kingdom Kids, and keep hula hooping 1982. You've gone, gone past halfway. You've got 10 seconds left now. Keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and you've only got four, three, two, one, woo, 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 and your time is up, Nathan A to do. Remember, Kingdom Kids, it's all down to you. You decide who the winner is. Is it 19 or is it 82? Let's go, Kingdom Kids. 
Kids. I'll see you next time. Bye.